A guy who I spoke about just last night, for those of you that were tapped in, um, Isaiah Hartenstein, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the Knicks have signed Isaiah Hartenstein to a, let's look at the terms of the deal, two-year, $16.7 million deal. Uh, and like I said, you know, I mentioned this guy last night as, as an intriguing acquisition, understanding that we traded Noel away and that we were going to bring in Sims. I wanted to see a guy who's going to kind of be like the counter of Mitch and Sims, who bring a little bit of spice to his game that can offset what those guys bring. And I, I was looking for a stretch five, even though Hartenstein isn't necessarily a stretch five, still someone who shot the ball well out of the mid range last year, can space the floor a little bit, going to give you some rim protection, get on the boards, give you some toughness and has some passing IQ as well, man. I like this pickup. I think it's a sneaky good pickup gambling on his upside two year deal, $16 million. I like this deal, man. I, I like this deal. Uh, J JD, your thoughts on, on uh, Hartenstein. Come to the Big Apple. Man, I thought you were going to post a snippet because yeah, I was watching the show last night. Man, and, uh, it took me a little while to find I, high highlights. I'm trying I, to get the highlights. I don't know. Now. I don't know, CP. I think <laughs> I think you I think you're trying to protect a source, man, because that was too close. <laughs> hey, that was too close. I dropped that one right at the end of the show. Al. Right before I went yeah. off, I was like, Hart and Steve. Went over everybody's head. Because oh, yeah. I'm like, wait. That, oh, yeah. I'm, I, and I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm dead serious. When the report popped up, the first thing I thought was, I think CP do something. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Slick. I'm telling you, it's a good pickup. Well, it's a very man, good we pickup. have that picture of CP with Leon Rose and World Wide West. We already know who the plug is. We uh, know. It, it was just funny. He's scrolling down the centers, and then when he gets, he's like, "Yo, I really like this guy. I, I think we got to get him." <laughs> I don't know, man. But I think I think it's uh, I listen. I agree with you. Uh, it's funny. I, I remember watching him against the Lakers one day uh, when he was with the Clippers. And he destroyed the Lakers on just pick and rolls. Yeah. Seven footer. Yep. He's athletic. And he, he's giving you everything, uh, I guess, that you want from Sims. He's actually a better shot blocker than Jericho Sims. He's taller than Jericho Sims. Um, last season, he averaged a full block a game. Uh, before that, he averaged another full block a game. Mm -hmm. So this is a guy, you know, in 17 minutes that he, he's, he's averaging a block. Uh, he's a shot blocker. He's athletic. Um, again, you mentioned he didn't shoot the three a lot, but I, I was watching some of his mechanics. He didn't shoot the three a lot, one, because he does he didn't play a lot of minutes. And right. that just, you know, the system that the Clippers played for him there, he wasn't really out there like that on three, but he has confidence shooting the three. In other words, if the Knicks want to expand that for him and they want him to take, you know, a few threes in his yeah. minutes, he'll do that. And, and I'll be interested to see what his percentage is would look like um, in that system. And then when you look at, you know, with Jalen Brunson, a guy that attacks the rim, I think having a guy around the basket that has a soft touch is, is perfect um, no for this team. I think now it's going to be interesting what happens with Mitch. Does it do anything with Mitch? Yeah. And if it, and if it doesn't, what you've done is you have insurance. Um, I know that us as fans, we want the perfect rotation. <clears throat> we want the starter, and the bench player. And we want that for 82 games. Um, unfortunately, that's just not how it happens. You know, especially when you sign Mitch, I don't, I don't want to say that we expect him to, to take, you know, gains because of injury, yeah. but history suggests got 82 games hand. might be a stretch for him to play. Um, and then Jericho Sims, you know, listen, we love the young guys. I don't know that every single guy on this roster is going to be in the rotation this season, because as you can see, this is a season that they have to um, show serious progress. So I think Hartenstein is a little bit of an upgrade over Sims and is just the right fit for the second unit playing with with Emmanuel quickly and and and, and maybe a Quentin Grimes. I, I like it, man. It, it's like a it's like a younger uh, version of Taj. You know, Taj finally moves on, man. We give we'll give Taj the Udan the Udonis Haslam, you know, lifetime roster spot award. Give him a clipboard. You know, he could even suit up if he wants to, but it's time to move on from Taj. I like this pickup. I think it's a it's a sneaky good pickup. And you mentioned Mitch. So so Mitch has been, you know, Mitch, friend of the program, you know, he's always interacting on Knicks Fan TV Instagram. <laughs> and when we uh when we posted the Hartenstein rumor earlier today, 
you know, there was a fan who got on here and was like, uh, I got to find the exact quote, but basically he was like, you know, I like Hartenstein is a stretch five. And then another guy, another fan chimes in and he was like, yeah, good. Because Mitch can't shoot from three feet away from the basket. Lo and behold, who responds to that guy, but Mitch, <laughs> who says, oh, yes, I can. <laughs> so shout out to Mitch for always rocking that chip on his shoulder, man. He's always going at the feds, never dodging the smoke. You know, we'll, we'll see what happens with him and his deal first and foremost and whether or not, you know, he does get some shots off next season. But I thought that was that was pretty funny, Al. For sure, and you you got your Mitch uh, you got your Mitch shirt on right now. I do. So I there do. You go. Yeah, there yeah. You go. That's the last domino go. for the night, man. Block Ness monster coming go. back home. For sure, and Mitch is always working those IG uh, streets, man. Looking for for whoever's commenting about him. But getting back to Hartenstein, like I think it's a solid pickup, man. Look, yeah. Looking at Jalen Brunson's numbers, over thirty percent of the plays that Jalen Brunson ran last season was in pick and roll as a ball handler, and he finished. He was in the ninetieth percentile as a pick and roll yeah. ball. He handler. said thirty thirty percent. He thirty percent of the plays that he ran, mm. out of like isolation and so forth, I think it was like thirty four percent pick and roll ball handler. You want to go? You want to compare that to Isaiah Hartenstein now? Isaiah Hartenstein, twenty five percent of the plays that he was involved in, pick and roll, uh, rim runner, right? Mm-hmm. And he was in the he was seventy six percentile as the roll man. So. If you get those two guys on the court or Emmanuel quickly or, or Derek Rose or whoever, you know, you got a solid guy who can roll to the basket. Uh, we know Mitch can do the same thing, but as JD was also pointing on too, like he's got a little bit of a shot, right? So that's something that's different. And JD loves his, uh, his football analogies when it comes to, to, to basketball. So this is like a change of pace center, man. So just different from Mitchell Robinson. Like instead, of having a, instead of having just a true uh, guy who can just hang out in the dunker spot, Complete, uh, you know, can finish around the rim very easily. Good put back dunker, uh, shot blocker, solid defender, solid offensive rebounder. You get the opposite of that, a guy who can draw out the center away from the paint. So if you got Obi top and I'm, I'm, if Isaiah Hartenstein is the backup center, which is most likely going to happen, having him, Obi, a guy who likes to run in the open court, someone who get, pulls the, the center away, not a lot of guys protecting the rim then. So that allows Obi to run baseline, cut, do a lot of things, gets his game to open up a little bit more. So... I like it, man. Adding a little bit more shooting. Yeah. Isaiah Hartenstein's not going to take the volume from three, but yeah. at least he has something in the mid range that you have to honor. At least. So I do like the signing. I think it's solid. And you're just giving Sims a little bit more time to, to, to develop. I think the one question I do have though, is does it make sense then? Cause Ian Begley reported that Jericho Sims will most likely be on a NBA contract instead of the two way. And as of right now, uh, the two way, con- the two way contract, hasn't really changed like it doesn't it's not including practice or whatnot i think it's still 50 games that he can play so unless like you unless you believe mitch will miss more than 30 games which is not out of the realm of possibility he was you played most of the games last season does it even make sense to bring uh jericho sims on an nba contract and maybe leave him for another season on the two-way with hartenstein and you can still get 50 games out of sims well, I think that all depends on, you know, who they have on the farm that they want to see. You know, is, does a guy like a Montero get that two-way? Does a Keels get that other two-way? Um, you know, we'll have to wait and see. So I think it all depends. We'll have to see how Summer League shakes out. You know, how does Sims do there? Or, or are there any other guys on the Summer League team that they want to, you know, bring in for an extended look on the two-way? But no question having Sims as the, as the, uh, as the third center on the depth chart I think that's a no-brainer because, as J.D. said, he got to factor in a couple games that, that Mitchell missed, hopefully, you know, no more than a couple. But, um, no, having depth is, is never a bad thing. And I think Hartenstein kind of is kind of that yin and the yang to what these guys bring. So I like that balance that, uh, that his acquisition will bring to the team.